2022 fashion engineers, I'm Elizabeth and today's video is the very, very late July favorites video. I know it's mid-August, but um, somehow I did not get around to doing this and I really wanted to put up a, a favorites for July because I have a lot of favorites and I want to tell you guys about them. I'm going to start with the bases from NYX. These are eyeshadow bases, uh, both of them. You've seen me wear these in tutorials. Uh, one is in a skin tone, this is ESP03 and this is my newer one in ESP01. Excellent bases, they really make the look. Um, secondly, for eyes, I have a whole bunch of uh, Maybelline color tattoos. Uh, particularly creamy beige which I did the review and swatch fest on deep forest from the same leathers collection and what do I have uh, sleek and spice this is a from a previous collection and chocolate suede and vintage plum there we go I'm going really fast because there's a lot of products now this next product, I don't know to say that they're my complete favorite favorites. These are the new eyeshadows by Milani. These are uh, Bella eyeshadows. I have two in Bella Sand and Bella Champagne and I've used both in tutorials and I've worn them actually. But I don't know to be honest that this is love at first sight for me. This is more like a good first date <laughs> where you go and you have a good conversation. You're like, maybe I want to see, you know, a second date. Maybe we'll see how things go. Um, I don't know if I want to purchase more. I might. I don't know if I want all of them. I don't think I do. But the ones that I have are pretty decent. So I've been wearing them a lot. So that says something. Um, they're easy out the door kind of eyeshadows. They're not my favorites. I still love my Wet n Wild and my Revlon Color Stay quads. So... I don't want to tell you. And also NYX. NYX is very good. As far as blushes go, I got into this um, Sin Blush by NARS. I've worn this a lot more than usual. This is what it looks like. It's a little bit of a berry color with uh, some golden shimmer. And I don't know if it's because um, fall is around the corner, even though these are July favorites. I feel like towards the end of July, I really wanted to get into more muted colors. Now, um, as far as lips go, I have two favorites here from L'Oreal. I wore these so much. Uh, this one is called Julian's Nude and this one is called uh, Frida's Nude. I have all six of them but I really really find these to be um, so easy to wear. That was uh, Frida's Nude and this is this is Julian's Nude. This is more of a peachy color. The other one was more mauve-y. Um, these are still in stores. If you want to pick them up, go ahead. I have all six of them. If you want me to do swatches or a review on them, let me know. They're really, really good um, lipsticks. And also, I've been wearing this quad by Revlon Color Stay. This is in the color Free Spirit. A uh, very strange color combination, but I really enjoy it. Um, it's not as scary as uh, it looks in the pan, depending on your application. So if you'd like to see some tutorials with this, maybe um, then let me know in the comments down below and I will do that. As far as nail polishes go, <laughs> hello sinful colors. I have been wearing these well into August. Um, I'm in a, in a blue mood. I have Rendezvous here. I have Mint Apple and at sea and this was part of my turquoise um nail polish collection and i really you know in the summer color series and i really really have been wearing that a lot also from simple colors at the end of the end of the spectrum i have um energetic red this was part of my uh reds um I read a nail polishes um, summer color series and then I have coral reef here which is gorgeous and very very close to what Essie's um, Sunday fun day is look at that you can tell Sunday fun day I mean with a name like that and ironically enough I tend to put this on on Sundays um, so yeah these are uh, very close in color but um, what can I say I wore them both so that's pretty much as far as uh, nail polishes and um, and makeup go. I also have some jewelry favorites. You've seen me haul these in my uh, jewelry haul. I'll link that down below. Um, like I said, I wore these a lot. These little guys here, these are like seed studs. They go with everything. I'm so, so happy that I, I picked these up because whenever I'm in doubt and I have no clue what to wear, I just go for these. And then on the fancier end of the spectrum, I have these guys here, which are 
kind of um hoops kind of not but yeah these were my my dressier choice i've been wearing all the earrings that i that i purchased not all of them yet but pretty much rotating them um and uh, i'm so happy with uh, with that haul so i hope you enjoyed that um i'm gonna link it down below like i said so this is it this is all for my july favorites i'm sorry for being late i'm gonna try to put up my august favorites uh towards the beginning of september i i'm trying i'm not making promises but i definitely want to have it up in the first week i know everybody was so diligent this month for uh, putting their their july favorites like as soon as august hit august 1st you know the clock turned midnight and everybody's video seemed to be up at the same time i am a bad bad youtuber so sorry for that but uh let me stop rambling and uh, let me know if you enjoyed this video late as it is thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so already and let me know what you think in the comments down below until next time